Right, so I'm um, just going to show you uh, quickly how you can do your own tracing uh, manually uh, inside your cuts a lot five using uh, the pen tool. So uh, say, for example, you find an image online and uh, you're going to go ahead and download it. And this one, I, I chose a guitar just because it is you know, it demonstrates how we were able to go ahead and follow a curve uh, and, and manually trace this, all right? So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom out here. So let me go ahead and zoom out and uh, fi fix everything here. So we'll go ahead and grab this here, holding the shift button down and uh, just placing it anywhere uh, really on the mat here. And the next thing is, once you have it in place, uh, you're going to want to click on the lock button. So that way you don't accidentally try to click on it and, and move it, right? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom into the, the area of interest here, which is, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and follow along the curve here uh, of the guitar bass. And you do this with uh, selecting the pen tool. And uh, over here, I'm going to change my workspace alpha. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and move it down just a little bit here so that uh, we can somewhat see the, the lines and stuff uh, once we close the loop here. So with the pen tool selected, uh, basically you're, you're not going to do any like uh, clicking and dragging. Uh, we're just putting some, some basic points on here because we're going to manipulate it uh, a little later. So anyways, um, you know, basically what I'm going to do here is uh, follow along the curve and then I'm just going to go ahead and pick another point here. Okay, I'm going to go to the top of a curve here click on a point. I'm going to go over here and click on a point. And basically I'm just trying to get uh, a rough, rough little outline. And again, I'm trying to pick pick where it's the curviest and stuff. So um, that's how I am judging these, these points here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click this, click uh, this over here. We'll see how this turns out. And we'll do another one here. And then another one uh, at the top of this curve here. I'm just trying to pick out major points where uh, these lines are just a uh, little bit of a drastic change for a curve. All right. So you can see uh, we sort of got our shape here. Now it's time to, to mold it, right? So. Um, with this right here, this is the shape tool, so we can go ahead and uh, edit these little dots, right? So what I always like doing is uh, selecting all these dots here and just changing them to cusps right here, this uh, this one right here. Click on it. And now I'm going to uh, zoom into each one of these areas here. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, some sort of push push this line to match uh, match the guitar, right? So, uh, anyways, uh, you know, I'm holding the space bar down, and you can see the little hand come out. And this is again, you can tweak these handles. You can sort of see what it what it does. And with this, I'm just going to go ahead and shift this up just a little bit. And in the in reality, you want these lines to be almost like tangents to uh, to the curves and stuff. All right, so we can get it really close uh, once we, uh, you know, we're moving each one of these here, and then you can fine tune it with the, with the handles. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that. So you can sort of see um, what we're doing here, and it's just going to be like a repeat process for the uh, for the entire guitar here. So you can see I can either use the handles here. Or I can actually manipulate the shape line, right? So this is how you are able to do a little bit of hand tracing, uh, just in case if you do have a, a difficult object that you are trying to trace and the auto tracer is not functioning that well for you, you can always uh, revert to something like this. All right. So hopefully you got something out of this video here. And I'll go ahead and uh, fix this here, zoom out a little once I get this. And we can sort of see what it looks like. Again, trying to get these uh, nice and tangent lines is what's going to make that guitar shape really, uh, really nice.
All right, so anyways, you can sort of get the idea, play around with it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, zoom back out here. But you can sort of see that with this, it gives us a nice little, uh, nice, nice little trace there, right? And again, uh, tweaking this, I'll go ahead and pull up here, we'll fix this here. So, see this little problem area? No problem anymore. So we'll just uh, fix that there. So, yep, that is how we are able to manually trace inside of Shortcuts a lot. Five or four has this as well. All right. Thanks for watching.